also have my youtube channel if they wish they can subscribe because there are a lot of tips on that youtube channel which goes on you know how to apply for how to prepare for interviews so i think if they wish they can subscribe to me i'll just sh- uh, share the link and everything on in a minute josh that'll be great i'm just adding the that is enabled now information. yes that is enabled so haan ji haan ji i'll just do that and it's live on our college channel uh, yes i i see that i see that yes <laughs> Share that link. Hmm. That Google Forms you are not distributed today. I'm just doing that, so that's what I was telling you. Hmm. I was just uh, adding the empty program information and I'm yeah. just sharing the link. Students, I'm. Uh, I've just put in a link to register. It takes about few seconds only to register, and you'll get to know the uh, advantage of it towards the end of the session. So I would want you to take it away right now. Toma. Uh, requesting all students to. Uh... click on the link uh, shared by aparna ma'am and fill in the form please Shree sir, do you run management training program for uh, Park Hotel? Yes, yes, yes. It's almost uh, almost more than three decades. Okay. Uh, and uh, with the institute, when the institute started in two thousand seven, we took over. Is it one year? Done, two uh, year. Lot of batches. Three decades, uh, sir. No, no. Is it uh, duration? I am asking. Duration is uh, uh, it's a one year program. One year. Okay. Uh, sorry, two year program. Eighteen months to be precise, sir. <laughs> Uh, now it is two years. Yes. 
we have the hkmt program we have the kitchen management training program we have the gmt general management training program for okay. front office for fnb sales and marketing uh, learning and development and where these people they reside during this program uh, at park hotel they actually are put up very close uh, to uh, in the vicinity of the institute when they are here for two months mm -hmm. and uh, so they find you know pg accommodation hostels there are plenty of because a lot of education happening in uh, navi mumbai wow. so, uh, so a lot of hostels are there we also have our own hostel okay, okay. so they'll find you know and then they stay right. for about two months so it's not uh, a stressful uh, activity for us because students find their own accommodation and then they uh, get posted then they relocate is this not too much publicized because the glamour students are having about oclg I mean, we have been doing this program for last six months. Nobody told us that. I mean, no, no. Uh, uh, we keep a low profile. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> But the students uh, have they've been having a great career. You know, once they get into the program. Okay. okay. Like we have Sanket, you know, who is uh, with uh, Ubroys. He finished the KMT program of the of the park. Sanket is now the sous chef with uh, the Ubroys. Uh, Operators, the Trident actually, yeah. A Franji, yes, he handles Franji Pani, Sanket Satare. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's there. He joined us a couple of years back. I think 2017. He's still with us. I met him I last year. Last year, last year I met him. So he took us to nice, uh, you know, good part bazaars and you know, which. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, back to add to what uh, Shri sir just said. uh at the park management training program we have uh, been you know uh, reinventing it or innovating we've been adding a lot of elements to it including fashion uh, movies and uh, luxury and lifestyle you know whatever mm -hmm. our hotel stand for those elements are added in the management training program and good, good. since 2007 when uh, it came to us uh, at the apj institute um in fact shri sir uh, was the uh, program uh, coordinator so uh, he's done a lot of work and i think our management also have been you know they they have given us different uh, targets and things to work on so it has kept us also um, uh, on on uh, you know learning something new and uh, being on our toes so and, 100% and popular, yes. quite popular among the students of different colleges good to know chef joy bhattacharya is my batchmate acha ha uh, he is with reliance now i know then i know i was he left trident in uh, 2017 he's holding 17. a senior position now yeah yeah very senior yeah, yeah. he is a uh, mr bokle you only told me about joy bhattacharya joining yeah. reliance jio yeah yeah other jio world center jio hmm. world center They have huge kitchens, lot of investment. Yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. They their work was a little halt. Now they've started uh, back in row. They're recruiting also, and yes, uh, Vanita yeah. Vasti is there. Uh, she was ex-Jet Airways handling HR. Yeah, Vanita Vasti. Uh, uh, she knows you very well. Not very well. Uh, she may or may not remember. You but know, then, Jet uh, Airways was my client, but uh, moment Vanita Vasti took over in few months, uh, Jet had to declare closure. She was from Sofitel Hotel, so I did not get much opportunity to interact with her. Except I mean, few emails about requirement and candidates contract. I think it's twelve six now. Uh, we can actually start the session. Yeah, yeah, you can. They are now. Uh, they are, yes. I think, still joining in. Okay. So that will continue. So, um, Harleen, are you there? You can switch on your camera. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So I'll uh, I'll start the session. So uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, present uh, for today's webinar. Today's webinar is a little different than what we usually do. because this webinar is about careers you know serious careers uh, not just in hospitality but even in other uh, industries also uh, there are many uh, options as we always tell the students you know they they need not be you know stuck in hotels or they can probably have options to join 
other uh, verticals, other other uh, industries also in customer service because customer service is so important. I was uh, looking at uh, watching a, a, a small episode on careers uh, in uh, 2021 post pandemic, and customer service careers are I think going to come uh, you know come back, and even uh, hospitality careers are going to you know uh, I'm going to share that uh, video uh, with all of you. And a very interesting 20-minute video which was filmed the day before yesterday on NDTV. So uh, they spoke about various industries and which industries are going to really boom and you know. So because a lot of changes have happened because of the pandemic, uh, a lot of people have realized a lot of things. So uh, so today, in fact, uh, I'd like to uh, welcome uh, uh, two stalwarts who I uh, know uh, and uh, been wanting to do this uh, webinar for uh, a very long time. Ever since I've been seeing this uh, creatives being circulated across various uh, Instagram accounts of colleges, you know, so I was uh, it was in my wish list. But one day I receive a call about two weeks ago from Mr. Karitkar, and I said, "My God, sent," you know. Uh, then the, he said, "You know, why don't we do a webinar?" I said, "You know, always wanting to do that." So we decided to do it, uh, and Vinesar is also joining. डेफिनेटली एंड Aparna ma'am and uh, Kanitkar sir, they and so they put up a, a great presentation. Because I think uh, till about few minutes ago, I was uh, seeing Aparna ma'am was making changes in the presentation. You know, so that is the seriousness. You know, they have uh, uh, they are taking in. You know, to make sure that uh, you get the best uh, in terms of exposure. You know, to what uh, uh, your career should be. So you, I expect you to take down some notes also as we go along. This is also getting recorded. Uh, it's on YouTube actually. So I have not started the recording, but I'll start once we start the session. So it will be available to you at a later date and time also. So now I'll, I'll hand this over quickly to uh, Arlene, who will uh, introduce uh, both our. Thank uh, you. Sir. Yes. Thank you, Arlene. <laughs> So good afternoon. I'm Harleen Kaur, a second year student of AIH. A warm welcome to our respected principal, vice principal, guest speakers for the day, faculty members, and all the viewers. This webinar is regarding opportunities of hospitality management graduates. I would like to firstly introduce one of our guest speakers, who is a certified hospitality educator. and a senior human resources professional miss aparna pasi she is a passionate public speaker and a dynamic human resource professional with extensive experience in recruitment retention compensation training and customer service also has proficiency in planning budgeting and forecasting and has demonstrated the ability to collaborate with others to achieve ambitious goals excellent human communication skills including aligning hr policies and programs to accomplish corporate goals and objectives miss aparna is a holder of a bsc degree she went on to work in various properties of the oberoi group of hotels the jw marriott in mumbai as well as kalpatru limited most recently she acquired a post graduate certification in human resources from xlri adding to her amalgam of skills with over a decade of experience in this industry she built her repertoire of expertise in kolkata mumbai and dubai and ajman it is her belief that each pupil must traverse their own journey and through practice all can achieve professionalism Through passion and dedication, you can overcome any hurdle. She believes and propagates that the fact that every expert was once a beginner. Now, I would like to introduce Mr. Rajan Kanetkar, 
who procured masters in management in the 80s and began his career with Sun and Sand in 1986 with barely 2 years of experience he was made the hr manager of by advanis of hotel airport plaza which is now known as orchid when sahara india group acquired center hotel at airport and renamed it sahara star he was invited to join as gm hr later ambi valley was also placed under him in 2012 he joined fashion garment manufacturer web lifestyle limited in 2015 he joined american hospitality brand windham worldwide for panoramic group properties in asia pacific since 2016 he runs a talent ma- management firm by the name of third arm and is providing talent globally to its clients being the author of several management research articles and phd researches currently he is chairman of the national institute of personal management mumbai chapter so i am honored to introduce the two very talented seniors and without further ado i would like to call upon uh, ms aparna pasi Arleen, it will be Mr. Kanitkar first, and then I'll follow, okay. sir. Okay. Sure, ma'am. Then I would like to call Mr. Rajan Kanitkar, please, sir. Thank you, Arleen. I think Aparna she was following society rule. Ladies first, right, Arleen? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, I'll speak on uh, this overseas opportunity first before Aparna takes over and. Uh, guides you on uh, how to prepare you people uh, for uh, interviews in big brand companies uh, i have chosen overseas opportunities because you know in india people have firm belief that there are opportunities only in uk usa canada new zealand and australia but beyond that also there is a world which offer jobs to indian management students now you are aware since uh, 1802 till uh, 1947 we were ruled by britishers first it was east india company and later it was queen's government so like us uh, british people they have ruled almost two third of the world almost 161 countries were part of common wealth and in all these countries english is the main official language now india a subcontinent we have more than uh, 1.2 billion people and out of that almost 20 crore people can understand english i mean they can converse in english or they can speak or read or write so this is larger than population of uh, united states or population of uh, enter uk so you know uh, we people are very comfortable in almost 161 countries there are 235 countries in the world out of that uh, because you know english you are comfortable in 161 countries not only in uh, english speaking countries but we are welcome even in spanish speaking countries or even in french speaking countries so i will take you one by one to different different nations where i mean you can get the employment opportunities people are already there in lakhs and at some places in millions literally and uh, salaries are also good uh, indian employers are a bit conservative yeah, when it I will advise people to keep their speakers mute, mics mute. Yeah, so salaries, you know, in country like Guyana or Fiji also are four times more than what we get over here. Or when it comes to uh, rich countries like uh, U.S. or Canada. or new zealand or australia it is much 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 higher 
though we say that uh, in india also these days uh, salaries are at global level but that is not a truth and particularly after the occurrence of this epidemic salaries have come down to such a level that people who were drawing 40 lakhs and who became uh, i mean uh, unemployed because of this pandemic they are offered jobs at 12 lakh per annum etc so because of you know uh, we have plenty of population i mean uh, enter europe uh, together does not have even 100 crore people or enter uh, north or south america they do not have more than 50 crore people with you and in such a small subcontinent we are 125 crores so we have so many people available for the jobs and the job offers are really less so that's why people have started looking towards west or east i mean uh, overseas for employment opportunities so we will start our uh, overseas employment journey with south america i mean uh, we call it latin america also because people over there they speak either spanish or uh, in country like brazil they speak portuguese so we will avoid countries which are war torn like venezuela or colombia or likewise uh, where uh, weather is not good for example ecuador we will avoid those countries guatemala etc there are people who have settled down in chile in chile's capital santiago you will see at least 50000 indian people particularly lot many sindhis after partition they moved to hong kong first and from there they went to south america and many of them they are now married to uh, uh, local women and uh, you know that is how they have settled very safely and securely their in child uh, one of my friend was a general manager with jw marriott at santiago and uh, i mean uh, he acquired good knowledge of spanish and uh, he was telling me that he is very comfortable over there that lot many people of indian origin are there till then i was not aware about uh, uh, santiago or country like chile but very recently i have uh, i mean supplied manpower to restaurants in mexico at guadalajara there is tcs which is employing almost 10000 people or there are there are companies like jk tires which are also employing lot many indian people so there are indian restaurants and tcs itself offers jobs to many hotel management graduates if you go to website of tcs uh, that is tata consultancy services you will see many job for hotel management graduate on their career website uh, in countries like uruguay or mexico so please do not miss this opportunity this is ensures that their employees are very comfortable in the country wherever they are posting them so i will uh, advise you to visit the tcs website so that uh, uh, you can uh, understand or come to know how many jobs are available overseas with tcs itself for hotel man- management graduates in their service centers now let us come to eastern part of uh, uh, south america before we come to eastern part of south america in central america there is a country called british honduras in british honduras there are almost 30 lakh people who are of indian origin you must have heard of uh, great indian mutiny of 1857 so where were the mutineers imprisoned by british people those days britishers had imprisoned them either in honduras or in caribbean islands so many of their descendants they are holding very top positions in their respective countries today in the british honduras the, there are many indian restaurants at home people of indian origin they eat uh, indian food only but their language of communication is now english so there are opportunities with restaurants in british honduras british honduras has a population of almost 1 uh, crore out of which 30% is uh, of people uh, whom we call pio persons of indian origin 
on eastern part there is a sub continent called guyana guyana is divided into three countries french guyana dutch guyana and british guyana in french guyana you will find lot many people tamil speaking people from whose uh, origin is actually pandicherry pandicherry was ruled by french people there were certain parts of india which were ruled by french people till 1948 one was pandicherry other one is chandranagar so people from uh, these uh, uh, two provinces that is pondicherry and uh, chandranagar they hold dual passports that is indian passport as well as uh, passport of france and they are welcome in french guyana as french citizens france uh, i mean french guyanis companies uh, they do offer them jobs i am not much aware i do not have a contract with uh, companies in french guyana but if you go uh, for a search on google you will definitely find something about jobs available in french guyana these are the countries which are uh, less hit by this covid 19 now there is a dutch guyana beside that Uh, in india east india company was uh, first uh, i mean brought to india uh, by uh, holland or what we call netherland dutch were the first people to open up their factories on the western coast as well as eastern coast but uh, in the battles they lost first to portuguese and to then english and french people and uh, later i mean dutch had a very less contact with india but uh, in dutch guyana they had taken lot many people from india in 19th century particularly after 1850 as uh, sugar cane farm laborers or to work on in sugar mills they were called indentured laborers that country is now called suriname and its uh, capital city is perambu and which uh, i mean uh, inhabited almost 60% people of the indian origin suriname has more than 30% people of indian origin their language is known as surinamese which is nothing but a mixture of creole uh, dutch and uh, bhojpuri so many people from eastern part of india particularly bihar and eastern up uh, way back in 19th century they had migrated today their uh, president as well as vice president of the country is of indian origin now which are the job opportunities available in suriname suriname is uh, youngsters you know mostly after graduation they go to holland for post graduation and they settle down over there only at amsterdam at amsterdam also you will see lot many people of indian origin but they are there mostly from suriname as a result in suriname there is a paucity of qualified people and jobs are available uh, to indian uh, hotel management graduates very recently one of the university in punjab was visited by suriname employers who picked up hotel management graduates so there are opportunities in country like suriname particularly in restaurant hotel retails multiplex malls etc beside uh, suriname there is country called guyana guyana is very very friendly country and very i mean uh, which will make you highly comfortable you won't get a feel that you are out of india the reason is guyana has a population almost 60% of indian origin its capital george town has almost 90% people from india now this must be their ninth or 10th generation people do not speak hindi or bhojpuri or any indian language but uh, their uh, eating habits or culture or religion has remained very much indian there are institutions like sanadan sabha vaidik sabha hindu dharma sabha etc there are so many temples and even theaters are showing hindi movies a uh, lot many film stars go from india to perform or there in 2017 karuna karina kapoor was there with uh, some uh, indian uh, female singer uh, she had performed them uh, two three shows that side and you must have uh, i mean heard names of cricketers like rohan kanai 
Alvin Kali Charan, Shunaran Chandra Paul, Rajendra Dhanraj, etc. They are all descendants, I mean, of the Indian people who migrated to Guyana almost uh, one and a half century ago. Now, there are jobs available in multiplexes, retails, uh, supermarkets, hotels, etc., in cities like Georgetown. And there is one more place called Burda, which also offers jobs. There is a trend amongst the Guyanese youth to migrate to Canada once they are uh, graduates. So because of that, locally, people are not available for jobs. And as a result, there are opportunities for overseas students, particularly Indian uh, management or Indian hotel management students. So this is one country where you will feel really very comfortable. Traveling is also not uh, problematic. Go to London and from there you can get a flight to Georgetown. Now, beside uh, South America, there are Caribbean islands. So there's a country called Jamaica. You must have heard name of Chris Gale, who plays for West Indies. He's from Jamaica and its capital is Kingston. So Kingston alone inhabits almost uh, 10 lakh like Indian people. It's a very big city. And uh, most of the businesses are in the hands of KC Group, which is uh, Kishinchan Chelaram Group. Uh, these are the Sindhi people settled over there for the last 70 years and uh, who are mostly owning the malls, multiplexes, hotels, restaurants, retail chains. 70% of the Jamaican economy depends upon this group. There are many IT companies and ITS companies which also offer job to Indian hotel management graduates. So I do get requirement from these countries, but because of this pandemic, you know, the requirements have stopped, but this will start coming soon to me because uh, this epidemic has not uh, really hit them badly. Uh, they have recovered very quickly from the epidemic. And as of today, Guyana or countries like Jamaica, Trinidad are totally COVID free. Uh, Trinidad is there beside Jamaica. It is also an island country called uh, Trinidad and Tobacco. And its current prime minister is a lady whose forefathers were from Bihar. When I had visited this part, that time Mr. Vasudev Pandey was the prime minister of uh, Srindad. And there are also more than 50% people who are of Indian origin. And they have named their cities and towns after the Indian cities like Faisabad, Awad, etc. And you will find member of parliament with names like Ashok Sharma, etc. And uh, festivals of uh, Trindad, like Roti festival or Diya festival or Holi, they call it Fagwa, are very well known. Are normally they attract tourists from UK, Canada, and USA. There are plenty of hotels, ships, I mean, uh, then uh, restaurants which are offering employment opportunities. And Trindad, with its small population, is not able to cope up with the requirement. So they are placing the requirements with many Indian placement consultants. And I myself have sent many people from Wasai or Thane, Mumbai, etc. to this part of the world. Then there are countries beside uh, Trindad or beside Jamaica, like Leeward Island, Weaward Island, or uh, there are plenty, I mean, uh, why to name so many islands, but jobs are available over there. In USA, I do not get any requirement, but jobs are available with uh, USA, particularly in Florida, on Miami with, uh, you know, cruise vessels, uh, merchant navy companies, etc. If you go to job sites, job portals, you can definitely find opportunities to work over there. Uh, Canada is also having paucity of uh, people, but as of today, Canada is passing through the problem of this COVID-19 uh, very seriously, and I will advise not to try for Canada in today's circumstances. Even uh, as far as possible, avoid Europe, though the opportunities are available in countries like Finland or Norway, particularly at Oslo, there are many jobs uh, with shipping companies in merchant navy, in cruise, etc. But avoid. 
even uh, as a postgraduate student you can get visa to uk particularly scotland wales ireland england and you can get part time jobs also to uh, i mean finance your studies but in today's circumstances this uh, new job uh, covid 19 reoccurring uh, are frequently reaching to us in south ireland in cities like belfast also there are many indian restaurants and they need indian chefs i have also provided indian chefs to uh, in a city like belfast and you would be surprised to know that south ireland's current prime minister is of maharashtrian origin and uh, so there are countries like this where you would be very comfortable Uh, avoid visiting France or uh, Denmark, Sweden, or Germany, Portugal, Spain, because these countries are flooded with uh, migrant population from Syria, Afghanistan, etc., and they have their own problems to cope up with these migrant issues. So it's better to avoid these countries. They are also not issuing the visa or not stamping the visa papers. Uh, now in uh, africa in northwest part there are jobs available in nigeria nigeria is a very hospitable country particularly to indians uh, at their capital city it's not a capital actually it is a commercial capital laos uh, you won't get a feel that you are out of mumbai or bombay the reason being most of the shop owners are uh, local people and so many jobs are available in petrochemical complexes or in hotels or in malls etc i will advise you not to avoid uh, nigeria nigeria offers very good salary that is five times more if a chef the party gets 35000 here uh, he will get 175000 in indian currency in nigeria then there are french speaking countries around like uh, ghana or mali uh, there are indians employed with hotels at dakar or at accra so these are the countries where uh, job permits are easily available then there are countries like congo or uh, zaire where jobs are available uh, but uh, these are the german speaking countries and uh, if you know german well then uh, you can certainly try there but uh, south africa is definitely english speaking country employing uh, i mean in population itself uh, almost 10% share is of indian people there are many undertakings owned by red deer naidus and uh, different different groups of indian ethnic origin <coughs> so they prefer uh, indians uh, when it comes to offering jobs or offering opportunities uh as of today their currency rand is holding three times higher value than indian rupee and accommodation is also not big problem in cities like uh, durban etc so please you can try your luck over there in eastern africa there are jobs available in tanzania uganda kenya and zanzibar all these countries commercially are dominated by indian particularly gujaratis uh in tanzania it is considered to be empire of jancha or kenya it is the meta family or uganda it is madwanis they own most of the halls uh, hotels malls sugar factories textile mills etc and uh, there are cricket clubs uh, there are theaters which are showing indian movies there are indian restaurants i do have clients in nairobi kampala etc where i have placed even the interns for a six month engagement so other than this eastern africa when we come to middle east uh, particularly this uae united arab emirates uh, this was part of uh, mumbai presidency till uh, 1923 and uh, rupee was accepted uh, currency till 1967 britishers uh, separated uh, uae from bombay presidency in 1923 so you will find lot many people who from mumbai or konkan coast who are settlers in uae almost for more than a century uh, at abu dhabi dubai as well and uh, indians are most welcome in uae because of their hard work honesty sincerity etc and in employment they always prefer indians 
now let us uh, other than this uh, uh, united arab emirate jobs were and would be available in kuwait as well as uh, in other uh, countries like qatar etc uh, at mana barin at manama almost uh, uh, most of the jobs are offered to indian people uh, and uh, then in central asia there is a country called azerbaijan which also offers job to indian hospitality management graduates uh, at the capital city of azerbaijan you will see plenty of punjabi sikh youths i mean uh, uh, who have joined over there particularly in uh, f&b production and service as well so azerbaijan is one country which is very rich in terms of petroleum etc and which also offers good salaries then when it comes to arabian sea in mauritius lot many jobs were available in port louis as of now i am not getting any requirement but in this another country which houses almost 90% uh, uh, indian people uh, 70% of them are bhojpuri speaking 10% of them are marathi speaking so that is one country which you should not avoid then when it comes to eastern part uh, there are groups which are not engaged into hotels but uh, they do provide employment particularly goenka group in myanmar or lohia group in indonesia uh, lohia is also own the hotels restaurant etc in indonesia not in bali but in java sumatra kalimantan etc uh, i will not take much of your time on talking about australia and new zealand because uh, the jobs are available even on the job portals uh, there is one country called fiji which houses almost 60% population of indian origin at its capital city called suva a lot many hotels malls multiplexes are owned by indians mostly gujaratis and they prefer indian hotel management graduates uh, going to suva you have to go via uh, australia or via uh, seoul that is south korea and salary is almost 3 to 4 times higher than what we get over here so these are the employment opportunities as and when i get requirements uh, i will do send emails to mr bokde or mr khatu who can then post these vacancies for your knowledge and we can uh, remain in touch i think i have spoken uh, this would be this information would suffice your requirement and now uh, i will not eat much into your time because uh, miss pasi would require at least 40 to 45 minutes to speak on our topic so over to aparna pasi ji thank you thank you so much mr kanitkar and uh, uh, students uh, very good morning once again rather good afternoon once again to everybody uh, so uh, taking on from mr kanitkar where he spoke about the various global opportunities uh, in the different countries i have a small slide that we have prepared which says that you know uh, knowing to the fact that you know if you feel that hotels are a little low in recruitment which is also very temporarily and at only at the moment there are several other opportunities which are available for you being a hotel management student okay so hospitality sector apart from hotels motels resorts and clubs you have various opportunities uh, to be a part of the sport association gymnasiums gymkhanas healthcare spas uh, there is a lot of demand for the front office students and housekeeping students over here especially and uh, you know with the spa going uh, you know a step forward where they're also you know in in keen of offering uh, health food items and you know they're also acting as a little retail system as well where uh, which offers food so food and beverage people have also got an opportunity to explore or here uh, entertainment sector which is event exhibition and casinos uh, that is one uh, area that uh, hospitality students are quite in demand with uh, educational institutes obviously you you definitely would have heard that 99% of the faculty that we have have our were students like uh, you know uh, from hotel management and you know that's 
when they move into uh, academics as well and you know they can really put their uh, foot on there and take it on from there and guide new students uh, travel agencies tour operators holiday planners also prefer a lot of hospitality students uh, because of the fact that you know that that the hospitality factor that needs to come in to talk to the clients um, cruise liners merchant navy passengers and cargo ships amusement parks wildlife sanctuaries i'm sure uh, you must have heard that uh, imagica Essel World, other parks like these also hire uh, you know students from hospitality because of course they have an array of standalone uh, quick USRs, restaurants, kitchen, and uh, uh, you know front office uh, where they do the ticketing and managing the entire staff. So they do a lot of operations management from there, and they take people from hotels, uh, retail sectors, and mall. Obviously, uh, you know I have uh, some experience in retail and real estate as well, and I remember very well categorically for customer service. executive and operations and managing the housekeeping and food and beverage for the malls entirely we used to take operation uh, executives and managers from hotel management college so that is one another area that you can explore into of course um, you know sales and corporate marketing is something hospitality students are always in uh, with that facility management especially uh, you know students with a rich background of front office and uh housekeeping can really apply for that catering contractors i'm sure you must have heard the event management companies one they get into once the ball gets rolling catering contractors of course um, you know i also seek for hospitality students aviation and airlines of course goes without saying a bit slow right now because of the uh, current situation but i'm sure will will pick up in in next two quarters uh this apart mail order businesses like amazon and flipkart they take in a lot of students from hospitality especially in the customer service areas where uh, you know you have to give calls to uh various clients and handle the entire customer relation management uh, section in real estate and uh, uh you know in mail order businesses like amazon flipkart mintra you really they have a section of hospitality section like the next which is coming is real estate i know lodha group has a hospitality section altogether so they only prefer students from hotel management or hospitality so that 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 entire wave of you know giving that special service to the guests can come in because they obviously handle a lot of luxury sites as well and projects for the Yes, and of course, goes without saying, IT, ITOs, BPOs, KPOs are one of them. So, guys, you can, if you want, you can take a screenshot of this slide. This is extremely helpful. So, at least you know when you streamline your job search, you know where all you can look for as well. Okay, and uh, you know, taking on from there, now that we know there are opportunities. we understand the fact that this is what is happening but i would like to first uh, request all of you to use your chat uh, box feature a lot i'll be asking you a couple of questions you can interact uh, with me through that chat box as well so in case um, you know we we all ready i want to just check the energy levels of the entire group so if you are ready if i could have if you could please write ready on the chat box so i can gauge your energy levels to understand that yes you are high on energy and you're all set for this program fantastic i get the first answer from sakshi rishi mrudula nayar pratham vaibhav shanaya rao damini azhar ashwarya harsh fantastic i have prachi so many of you kritana i'm sorry pushkar harleen if i'm unable to read your name don't worry definitely i'm going to read it as well okay rutuja shinde all right thank you so energy levels are pretty high and they're still very much flowing krisel devyani fantastic guys so let's let's face one thing okay we all know that the world has changed yes if you if you agree with this please put type yes on the chat box right the world has changed all right and if the world has changed it's obviously due to the corona and if it has changed so as the world of interviews okay the traditional way of interviewing which was face to face is less followed now and it's more on the web mode correct and with the world of interviews have changed there are three things that every company is going through and you know the reason i want you all to know this is because it's so important for you to empathize on it so number one is safety every company is looking forward for safety you know wherever you go in any company you see masks you see you know uh, social distancing norms there'll be there'll be um, you know even if you go to hotels there are signages there are extra uh, sanitization properties uh, you know the safe uh, the safety masks pe people are wearing face shields so many of them the way people are flying is extremely strange number two people a lot of companies that often started to opt for telecommuting or remote working and which nobody could ever think that you can run an office from your home all you need is a laptop and a stable internet 
right nobody in the world could think that we can run meetings and meetings and like this right i'm sure you could have never imagined that a practical class is also happening on the zoom webinar correct and of course the employer stability so these are the three things that have actually changed all right and i want all of you to please ensure you go through the cdc guidelines you can see the cdc guideline please write i commit on the chat box if you will write cdc guidelines okay go through it before going to any interview make it a point to read the cdc guideline it is called cdcguideline.gov it's a website which basically tells you what are the uh, parameters that one should follow in hotels or any other industry for corona this is extremely important can i get some commitments that you will definitely go through the cdc guidelines before really jumping onto it can anybody commit to me on the chat box i'll be very happy to hear some commitments from you thank you shraddha for saying sure all right mridula says sure devyani is yes harleen yes can anybody write commit as well commit is a bigger word right okay da damini hansika fantastic all right please make it a point that you do that okay thank you sakshi with the caps i see a lot of energy thank you chrisel for being the first one to write the word commit all right so good so before we jump in into a lot of things i would want you to make it a point that you get on that now you know i i have uh so as you wonder how in my uh, introduction as well i was part of the obroy group the marriott group okay and of course we look forward for a st uh, you know students so what i'm going to cover right now is i'm going to be telling you what is the process of management training programs in various branches okay so let's start with the obroy group first okay as we all know uh they are called the OCLD the Obroy Center of Learning and Development i passed out my OCLD from two, in 2005 2007 batch and from then there are a lot many more changes that has come uh so there are four management training programs that they offer one is guest service management training program which is a combination of front office and food and beverage so in case you are preparing for front office you will be questioned for front office but you will be studying throughout the two years food and beverage and front office both because you can be placed in one of the departments all right housekeeping is strictly for housekeeping management training programs kitchen management training program to groom you to become a chef and sales management training program is the only mt program of ocld which runs for 18 months rest three work for two years all right and the process is very simple for an ocld the first round is usually happens in the college uh, though they have delayed the process of ocld this year but definitely it's going to be picking up uh, next year because there are multiple properties of obroy groups which were to be announced uh, got delayed because of the pandemic would be announced soon so the first round is the group introduction round where you are asked to introduce yourself second round usually is an extempor and third is a personal interview which happens with the hod the head of the department and the hr manager once you get through that okay they will not announce at that stage whether you are an osr or an ocld okay they are going to put you to the general manager round it is the general manager who decides whether you get into o ocld or you know uh, the osr and in between you also have an online round which is nothing but call a psychometric test which basically helps us to gauge your personality a little bit more that's not an elimination round it is a round for us to give you another feedback or an image of an employee from the hotel point of view after the gm round you know it's the general manager who will decide whether you get into ocld or osr if you get into ocld you enter the semi finals and semi finals usually happen in nearest a uh, hotel to your city of uh, you know so for example for the apj school it will be happening at the nariman point hotel the trident nariman point hotel in the training department and you will have the semi finals of the hotel at that time and here you actually in the semi final you have another six rounds so first round is an aptitude test which is an online test number 2 is a group discussion number 3 is a case study which will be given to you and you are required to write few notes and you know understand the reflection number 4 there is a uh, there is a individual presentation so they'll give you a product to present and you have to do an individual presentation number 5 is that you know you have a british council test so that is basically a telephonic round where you just have a very candid conversation with the person who's uh, you know uh, who calls you up so that's mainly to check your communication skills and then of course you have a interview with the dean of ocld it sounds very hectic but they are very well organized it you know it just keeps on going step on step by that okay if you clear the ocld 
All right. Then you enter the final round, which is with Mr. Obroy and the panel. Usually the panel consists of eight to nine members, which is including of the vice president HR, of course, Mr. Obroy himself, uh, two of the renowned general manager and the operations head. So usually OCLD panel, which is the semi for the final round happens at the Obroy Gurgaon or Obroy New Delhi dependent, but it happens in Delhi. All right. And once you get through that, of course, your medical check and examination is another step. And once that is also cleared, then you become an OCLE. OK, so it's a two year program apart from sales, as I said, which is 18 months. OK, now let's come to Taj. Now, Taj offers a program which is called the HDP program recruitment process. OK, and this is how they start. They have HDP operations and HDP kitchen. Operations basically is front office, food and beverage and housekeeping. And the next one is kitchen. So the first, usually the first, this is how the flow of the rounds is. They have an objective written type test for front office, f &B, housekeeping and kitchen. Once you get through that, then you get into a group discussion, which is a case study based. OK, once you make it through that, then there is an interview. Once interview happens, then there's a virtual assessment center and then you get into the uh, final round of the uh, with the senior management of the IHCL. OK, so HDP usually, guys, you can take a note is usually a program which is uh, of 18 months. The journey breakup is usually, you know, 30 percent of the classroom base, 70 percent as a structured on the job training. And of course, uh, you know, it focuses a lot on building your capability of leadership, your career paths, compensation growth is there. And upon completion, you get a designation of assistant manager. All right. And this is how the program is divided. You know, as I said, uh, this you start in the first phase, which is a classroom based session. Second phase is also classroom based and a combination of on the job uh, training. Then they obviously obviously give you a lot of projects. And the last few months, you know, the eight months are usually on the job where you know you are uh, completely uh, phased and you know held as a manager you shadow a manager so that you inculcate your skills in terms of uh, the round flow as i said uh, hotel operation uh, round that you have objective written types you have 60 questions okay so 20 fnb and kitchen 10 housekeeping 10 front office 15 strategic management and accounts and five mathematics. So basically, they check your aptitude as well. Uh, please make a note, general awareness is extremely important, all right? And if you're appearing for kitchen, then you have 45 technical, eight ma uh, strategic managements and accounts, seven logical reasoning and mathematics questions. So these are some of the important topics that, you know, they come in. So, and the passing percentage is usually, they take is 75%, okay? So that's with the large program. Let's come to Marriott. Marriott uh, offers a management training program called Voyage program okay it is again an 18 months program it primarily focuses more of your training on on the job by you know mini rotating in all the men so they basically do that and they're very well uh, structured they also have an app-based learning program into that and of course on completion of 18 months you get uh you know um, promoted directly as a assistant manager in one of the marriott properties okay this is how the journey of marriott is you know if you get into as a voyager you start as a onboarding then your leadership program then there's discipline training hotel simulation then your departmental training then your leadership build up happens and then your voyage completion. So this is the entire map that happens for 18 months. Okay. And uh, how is the process? This is more important for you to know. You start with the first round with the general manager and the training manager personal interview. Then they may have a video interview. All right. Where they ask you questions like why hospitality or why have you chosen front office? What's the area of interest? So they're going to see you more that as a, as a person uh, that how are you right are you ready for it are you are you conveying them and impressing them enough for taking on and being ready or a managerial position round three usually have a psychometric test okay uh and oh, no, no, no. Is something which is you know uh, it talks about the leadership style onto you uh so that is with the voyager program that you have and of course the last round happens with the uh with the program happens uh you know at the uh, corporate office of the Marriott, where you have uh, the director HR of the entire Marriott group and the senior management. Then comes the Accor. 
okay one of the most renowned and upcoming management training programs as well very well polished as well their recruitment process is also you know the first round is with the training manager second round there's an online test so wherever you see you see you know you see all hotels are actually focusing on general awareness logical reasoning your technical so now you are having an idea that what is that you need to prepare correct then third round is the personal interview with training manager and the hr director and they give you a lot of situation handling rules and in case uh, you get through the third round for the fourth round that's an assessment center day where first part of the assessment center day is a case study and you on basis of case study you make a powerpoint presentation the round two there's a situation handling and a personal interview so they'll give you a, in the interview they give you situations and they'll give you a proper situation for you to think and they'll see how, how what is your how fast you just stimuli and what is your presence of mind in helping all you have to remember is you have to be guest or entered in this okay and third round is bring your own team group activity where they actually ask you to make a little advertisement video for the accor hotel right like for example why do you think guests should choose accor over the obroy group so it's a 45 uh, uh, you know duration is usually 45 seconds and they give you about 15 to 20 minutes and they give you all the tools and everything to be ready to make a presentation so it's a great idea for you to be in then of course the overview as i said this is also about 12 to 18 month period and of course they cover all these parameters during the training and upon completion you become an assistant manager as well then we have uh, the corporate clt program which is for the hyat it's a 20 month program very hands on learning on the job okay and of course as part of the round very similar to our hotels group discussion second is the only moderated group discussion which is you know current pair based then there's a panel interview and of course there's an interview with the general manager and once you do that then you get into uh, the uh, clt program all right so um, you know that is uh, something which is there that needs to be on that now guys i want to hear some few things from you what thing is it difficult? what are you what do you think after so many management training programs i'm sure you must have seen kitni similarity hai sab me ya to group discussion hai personal interview they're focusing on your personality gk and knowledge so what do you think are your chances of getting and do you think it's difficult do you think it's easy the cake walk thing it's 50 50 can i hear some uh, questions uh, some some answers from all of you how do you think it is there? anybody Yes, please. What do you think? Just put your put your comments on the chat box. I think that will be the best. Put on your comments on the chat box. What do you feel about it? Fifty fifty chances. How is it? What is important? Anybody? Yeah, please. You can tell me through the chat box. What do you think? Is it? It's very difficult. Easy. We can try. Fifty fifty chances. I see Sakshi busy typing something. Fifty fifty. Okay, Sakshi says seventy percent. Fantastic. I like your confidence. Suyesh says fifty fifty. Very good, Suyesh. Asar Sheikh says seventy percent. Okay. Yeah, it's seventeen thirty. And I, by the end of the webinar, I want you to feel hundred percent on it. Okay. And I'll we are there to assist you on this. Damini says ninety percent. Fantastic. Good guys. One thing you all have to understand. It is all about you. Okay. the entire stream and the thread of all management training programs is about you it's about your personality it's about your grooming it's about your punctuality it's about putting that effort it's about preparing yourself for the general awareness and this is what i am here going to be clarifying in this webinar going ahead that what does it take what are the kind of questions what are the smart answers you should give to crack through these interviews and you will need to understand one thing and i hope i convince you for this that you will and you will and you are the driver of your own interview believe me and i'll try to i'll try to convince you on that i hope i will be doing a fair and fearful job on that but yes it's true you have to first believe that you're driver of your interview okay because we as interviews may not have a lot of questions ready we may have some set set questions ready but we actually form questions from your answers okay it's called the filtering technique and i'm going to you know give you some examples by demonstrating onto it all right so let's start and because it's all with you so guys first thing 
you know as as a fact uh, to understand that uh, you know if if at all i want to get into the interview you have to remember one thing it's very important to have a clarity it's very important for you to have a clarity of mind okay can you all type clarity on the chat box if you're with me very 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 important for all of you to have clarity on your mind okay so very important can you type clarity thank you pratham for being the first one sorry harleen being the first one sorry okay damini sumit fantastic and i'm going to tell you what clarity means first thing first you all need to understand is you need to understand what is that you want because this question is for sure going to come in your interview say where do you see yourself 5 years or 10 years down the line okay so like i'll give you an example like for example you know uh, there is a small child and it tells his mom mama i want to become a doctor okay she says okay and she's in class 5 okay and mama says yeah sure if you want to become a doctor you know it's very important uh, for you to do mbbs okay he says okay i'll do that he said but you know to get into mbbs there's a lot of preparation that you need to do so you need to make sure that in your 11th and 12th you study science very well so you get into the uh, you crack the entrance exam he says okay fine he said but you know what to get cracking to the entrance exam you have to study well in 11th and 12th and uh, making making the point that you strengthen your biology physics and chemistry very well along with mathematics he said fine he said but you know what for you to get science you need to make sure that you score very well in class 10 so you get science pata lag gaya score hi nahi acha aaya to science milegi nahi to gaye sare sapne mbbs ke correct so what is mama doing mama is preparing the child and making him think backward if you want to achieve this i have said this but beta you have to remember that this is how you need to do you need to first clear 10th then go to 11 then go to 12 then with mbbs there is a lot of distance between that mbbs and class 5 So it's very important for the student to focus on class tenth first, or directly on MBBS. Can can I have some uh, chats? What do you think he should focus on class tenth, or should he focus directly on studying with the MBBS? Tenth, absolutely, Sakshi, right? And Shweta, right? Uh, Everybody is saying tenth. It's tenth, and that is what is clarity. I want all of you to first think that what is that you want? If you are a student today. in 2021 what is that by 2023 or 2034 or 2032 what is that i need to become do i see myself as a head of department do i see myself as uh, an entrepreneur do i see myself as uh, you know a settled somewhere in an international country do i see myself as a trainer do i want to be a you know a, a assistant professor in a college what is that you want that clarity is important because uh, you know once you keep that thing ready keep that set and keep it ready what i want you to start doing then is focus on the steps like that class 5 child i need to first clear my 10th then come in 11th 10th 12th and then start with mbbs preparations in the interim of 2 years of 11th and 12th that's exactly what is called the power of vision you know study says that 95% of the people who are successful today have had a vision or a goal in mind because then it is very easy for them to prepare steps it can't uh, you can never achieve success by just saying chalo jo hai chalta jayega you know you can never give, go it in flow right you are in a boat you are rowing a boat till the time you don't know where to go you will obviously start putting your gps and seeing go left go right go left go right you are focusing on it because you know your vision is to reach say for example goa and you are going to take steps accordingly which makes you reach in the you know less number of uh, hours so that's exactly what is the power of the vision are you all with me can you write wm on the chat box if you are understanding what i'm trying to say or i'm just talking to walls okay wm yes thank you so much fantastic so many of you great so guys very important to understand that vision is super duper important okay now you know this is that's what was, you know i was saying that in my youtube channel i have this video which is understanding your d3 so that's what i'm saying if you if you haven't uh, yet subscribe please to subscribe uh, and uh, there is this video which is there understanding your approach on d3 extremely important and d3 works for me fantastically well today date as well okay whenever i have now now what has happened is i have had a vision this is what i want to become okay like for example for me when i was a hotel management student i genuinely wanted to get into ocld but for me to get into a cld obviously i cannot just you know just wake up one fine day and go well ready in front of the interview i'll obviously fail so i you know at that time unconsciously i think i followed a d3 formula which i could give a shape now it's it's purely copyrighted by me not available on google as well it's called the d3 which means the first d states that you need to first define that what is that you want i remember 
when i was in college my 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 seniors used to tell me aparna ocld bahut difficult hai and i chim gwalior se aaj tak kisi ka nahi hua hai kahan se hoga tumhara okay so i and i still wanted to get it so what i did was i actually started to write that what is that is required to become an ocld i i still remember in a very candid way that little piece of note i had 10 pointers with me but then i realized main sab 10 pe kaam karunga to khichdi ban jayega so what i did was i actually took only top four this is what i want i want you to define that what is my vision now you've thought your vision what is the next step anile what is that you need to define thing and four things which came was public speaking skills and confident number two that came was excellent communication skills number three that came for a very good general awareness and four was working on my attitude and grooming these are the four things that came and i remember working on them from my second year onwards so defining is very important because it tells you what you must prepare because if you start preparing everything and anything it doesn't way and i remember i was a very inconfident person i could not really talk confidently in public and i i i still remember remember i had uh, you know uh, enrolled into a small session with mr uh, in one of our faculties and you know he was offering us in 15 days i remember he helped me to gauge me and give me some little formulas which quickly gave me a lot of confidence onto that okay so that's how i defined it and we all we all have to face it guys we have to always spend some money and energy and time to get our ourselves working and once you define you'll start developing on it so how i developed i got into a small coaching session for me to help and get you know grasp that little thing in a similar way if you want its body language you think you need to improve stand in front of the mirror practice record your voice and hear back see where you're going wrong and that's how you develop okay take help uh, with with a coach or your teachers your parents your confidence your friend books whatever you feel will give you knowledge develop and of course deliver with grace so students tell me which stage are you on are you on d1 are you on d2 and d3 you know i because the paucity of time i cannot explain the entire concept so please do go and watch the video will give you a lot of insight so can anybody tell me which stage are you on are you on d1 right now are you on d2 d3 pe to shayad nahi hoge delivery stage abhi kisi ki aayi nahi hogi but any anybody what are you on are you on d1 d2 d3 any answers anything okay rishil is on d1 Kritika, Shweta, Rohit, fantastic. He says is on D two. That means you've already defined. Hansika on D one, Shraddha on D two, Damini on D two. Very good. So guys, whoever is on D one, I think whichever stage you are on, it's great because you've got it started. If you are defining yourself, you're definitely going to uh, develop as well. And there's so many of you saying a little. Okay, Harleen says little D one, little D two. Okay, so that means you possibly defined one and you're working on it, and now you started to redefine as well. I would recommend Harleen for you to achieve your vision. Define first. because jab little pitle aata hai na then we keep getting wandered because what happens is we go to two then we go back to one we go to two we go back to one in that thing we get tired okay so i would recommend you to define all define whatever brainstorm is all top 10 and then prioritize what are the top 4 which is required for you to get into a management training program okay very 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 important okay then what comes next is i want you to make the most of every situation now you'll say abarna vision to bana liya चलो मैंने डिफाइन भी कर लिया मैं डेवलप भी कर रहा हूं बट प्रॉब्लम इज होता नहीं है राइट कैन यू कैन यू डू यू अग्री विद मी यू कैन राइट अग्री ऑन द चैट बॉक्स इट रियली डजेंट हैपन आई वांट टू स्टडी बट आई कांट स्टडी there is so much of distraction that is coming up and it's very easy for you to say mo- make the most of every situation see so many yeses i'm getting i i knew this is coming right so let me try and help you in this as well okay so first thing obviously is i want you to beat your resistance now i'm going to make you understand the concept of resistance resistance is invisible and it is internal andar hai hamare okay this resistance will never block you if you're on your phone looking at insta stories just go through random youtube channels go to facebook stories just put on post put on netflix your resistance will say nothing it will enjoy it will sleep with you it will get up with you but the moment you decide the next day i'm going to get at 5 in the morning and wake up because i need to start yoga i'm really gaining weight i need to get fit 
what happens when you put an alarm at 4:55 in the morning what is the first button you want to uh, press anybody anybody who can put in what is the first button you want to press the moment you see an alarm ring snooze right herlin i do that all the time i'm sure you all of you do as well that is resistance resistance always stops you to do something which is right and for you to beat resistance i'm going to give you a formula which is called the 5 second rule Okay, what is the five-second rule formula? Before you do something, just count in your mind: five, four, three, two, one, and go. You've seen athletes race. How do they start? On your marks, get set, go. Just like go, बोलते हैं. Everybody gets into energy and run. You know, I I really like uh, you know whenever I I remember when I used to swim, the water used to be very cold, and I used to touch the water with my feet like, "Bapre, I'm not going." But then I had to go, right? So then I I always used to just hold myself say five, four, three, two, one, and jump. Once you jump, it's done. In a similar way, you have to get up in the morning. If you are not able to get up, first is put your alarm away from your bed. उठके तो आपको जाके अलार्म बंद करना पड़ेगा राइट वेन यू गो माइट एज वेल यू सी अरे आई वोकन अप एंड यू नो स्टार्ट ऑर्गेनाइजिंग योर सेल्फ इन सिमिलर वे इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट अप जस्ट काउंट इन माई फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन गेट अप That's how you're going to do it, guys. Can you type five, four, three, two, one? If you agree with the five-second rule, it's a very famous formula by Mel Gibson. I'm sure you can uh, check on the uh, YouTube as well. So somebody has typed five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic, Pratham, Harleen, Prat. It really, really helps. It has really worked for me, right? Because I would want to tell you over here, guys. The minute you know, the you fight your resistance, assistance follows. and that's how we kill our procrastination you know how it works for me i always think yaar if i am able to achieve this this is what i'm going to be rewarded with or this is how it's going to look like it's really really important for you to kill your procrastination also one more tip please make it a point that you schedule right things at the right time don't start studying for an exam at 7 in the evening because mama is going to call you after an hour for dinner then you will not be able to concentrate right so it's very very important for you to do that fantastic see i see so many of writing 5 4 3 2 1 right so very important to making most of every situation so i hope you are able to knit what i'm saying before the interviews is all happening before the interviews clarify your vision start with d3 formula and then to make it into d3 beat your resistance because resistance will not help you to get into your goal okay very 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 important all right now working on yourself this i'm going to cover a little later uh, as a part you know if you want to ever get into an interview let me tell you girls and boys body language grooming and communication skills are three key main things if you see in all the management training programs everywhere they were gauging your communication skills your personality why how they are asking you basic question and that helps you to really become a professional in you 60% of your life will be sorted if i at least a hospitality student hotel management student if these three parameters are covered very well all right and of course you know uh, this a part very important for you to make sure that you work on yourself gk is very important ocld in the semi final round in the uh, general manager round in the final round three of the rounds general awareness is asked gk is asked you know we we've coached over the lockdown over 50 plus students if you please do follow our instagram accounts we put in our achievement so far with the hotel management students so happy to tell you that we've had some good 30 to 35 placements done already including groups like obroy and marriott nile hospitality and so many other lodhi hotel so many of our students have got through there right and i remember coaching them and spending at least two classes with them on general awareness knowing the cap Capitals, knowing the cities, knowing the prime ministers, president. I used to circulate newspapers to them daily, digitally, so they read it. And then I used to test them every day whenever I used to meet them in the evening. It's very important for you to work on your GK because as a hotelier, it's so important for you to know what's happening around. Okay, and most of the hotels ask you that. So I'm leaking the question paper to you. If you know GK is aware and you are not very good at it, start off it with now, guys. Okay, you must know currencies. You must know capitals of the countries. you must know the uh, capital st uh, state capitals you must know chief ministers and presidents and prime minister extremely important and this is really going to put you and level up to one more away because the aptitude test that you read in all the hotels have a section of 30% of your marks of gk and socho usme aapke low marks aage there's no point you can't get through right so as i said i'm leaking the question paper to you start preparing on that then 
make sure that you complete your responsibilities you know i'm sure you agree if you're professionally if you're if you're happy in your personal life that happiness reflects in your prof uh, professional life if you're unhappy in your professional life that unhappiness will reflect in your personal life right so it's very important for you to make sure that you complete your own responsibilities to the level you can okay because it really makes you happy to keep happy like personal it's very easy for all of us to have issues in our home. We are able to concentrate. We all have something with the issues happening at home. But let me tell you girls or boys, what can you do about it? Can you, can you really put a magic wand and finish it? No. At least you can at least contribute to the best that you can. So make it a point that you complete your responsibilities because that satisfaction is going to work very well and reflect a positive way in during your interview discussion as well. Okay. And of course, this exercise and meditate. Hotels really, really look forward to see and pick up candidates who are actually fit. Okay. That's why every hotels have a medical examination. And it's very important for all of you to control your weight. All right. So make it a point that you are fit. Okay. You, uh, you, uh, because when you're fit, you're active because hotels is a lot of physical work that needs to be done. Okay. So your height and weight needs to have a BMI. So irrespective of what your height is, make it a point that your weight is corresponding as for the BMI index. Very, very, very important. Okay. And this is absolutely not related to what it is. So your personality development really counts in a lot. Are you all with me? Can you, can you type WM on the chat box? If you've understood everything till now, right? Fantastic. Thank you, Harleen. Thank you, Pratham, Suya, Shrutu, Damini, Kritana, so many of you. Great. Now is the time for me to ask you some questions. Okay. I'm going to be presenting you three things because that's the last part of the interview before I cover what is that you need to cover and what kind of answers you need to give. And right now we are in pre preparation stage, right? So could you help me answering this? Could you recognize who this personality was? He wasn't able to speak until he was almost four years old. And his teacher said that, you know, uh, he would never amount too much. Anybody who can guess this famous personality, who was he who was told by his teachers, you know, are you good for nothing? You can never achieve success. I don't think so. You'll ever really be on success mode. Can anybody tell me who this person was? Anybody? Can anybody tell me? Anybody? Virat Kohli. No, not Virat Kohli. I, I was a Baba. He is no more in the world. You can Einstein. type on the chat box. Ah, absolutely. I don't know who said that. Einstein. Yes, you are absolutely right. It's Albert Einstein. Okay. And I'll tell you why I'm asking you this. Let me see if you can guess this personality. She's a very famous TV personality. She was demoted from a job as a news anchor because she wasn't fit for television. Can anybody guess who she is? She's alive. Anybody who can guess who she is. Think. Okay, let me tell you the answer. It's Opera Winfrey. Okay. Let me see if the third one is very easy. At age of 11, he was cut from his team after being diagnosed with a growth hormone deficiency, which made him smaller in stature than most of his kids' age. Can anybody tell me? Very famous footballer. Messi. You are right. famous failures. So as a part of the interview, you need to remember one thing. That you may fail in one interview, but that does not mean you should, you know, there is one very good vid YouTube video that I have on my channel which says how to overcome the fright of interview. Go and watch it. Okay. I am only trying to say is you will fail, but I want you to keep trying. Okay. Don't just get dejected. Ki ek interview nahi kiya, dusra bhi clear nahi hoga. Definitely things are going to work for you. All I want to make sure is that make it a point that you learn from your learnings and the opportunities on that. Okay. And with this, let me come to the last part of my presentation, which is the job interviews. I hope you get and understand what I'm trying to say is before you jump into the puddle of the job interview, it's important to make sure you make a pain and base very well, which will only happen if you prepare very well. Now you know what kind of questions you've already seen the management training programs, what kind of rounds they have, what kind of pro, uh, questions they can ask. And for you to be prepared, you need to make it a point that you get onto that. Okay, so let's get into the job interviews and five things. 
that you will definitely must, must, must remember is of course the prerequisites. First thing first, please make sure you're punctual. And I'll tell you why this is, this is prerequisites of interviews is also there on my YouTube channel. Go and watch that videos. I've given you details of every point very well. It's just a four to five minutes video. Punctuality means, you know, what happens is usually when you go for an interview or even if you're on the web as well, check your net and everything and run the presentation or run the, uh, you know, uh, your network and check your Zoom or whatever mode ID is there. And when you're doing face-to-face, -face, HR gives you a form to fill up. And that takes 10 minutes to fill. Now, imagine if you have your interview at 11 o'clock, you enter at 10.58, panting, sorry, ma'am, I'm late. And in a place like Mumbai, especially, right? So they'll give you a form. At least you can fill it in legible writing. Plus, you also get some time to check your grooming. You know, you check your grooming. All the best. Do the best. Go for it. First point is for your punctual. Number two is keep your CV and documents organized. Now, these days, is a lot of them would be taking everything through, uh, you know, less photocopies will be taken, no original uh, copies would be taken. So, obviously, I want you to do is scan and keep your CV and documents, which is your Aadhaar card, your PAN card, your address proof, your photographs, and your CV, and your relevant education certificates. Keep them ready in a folder scanned. Put it on a folder on your desktop, right? Uh, you know, my documents for interviews. So the moment the person asks, is all you have to do is email. In fact, I would say draft me save karke raklo ek copy. All you have to tell the HR manager, don't say, ma'am, by the evening, I'll send you when I go home. Say, ma'am, may I have may I request for your email ID? Put in the email ID, zoop you go. Kya speed ho gaya, right? That's how we start going into it. So make it a point that you keep your documents ready. Number three is do a basic research of the hotel that you're going in for sure. Okay, do go through the channel of this video, please. You're going to get in this in detail that what is required to do the basic research. You must know about that particular hotel chain and the group very well, because that's one of the point of common point between the interviewer and the interview. If you cross this, your next step is becomes very easy. Of course, be well groomed. Okay, now, uh, you know, grooming is a topic which I usually conduct for two, two to two hours, two to two and a half hours. But all I can tell you right now is it's a very unique combination of style and discipline. When I say style and discipline, it basically means you're someone who needs to be disciplined in your grooming. Okay, it's not about putting best of the makeup or wearing the best of the suit. You know, for example, if I'm wearing a green tie, I need to wear a green pocket square. If I'm wearing a brown socks, okay, then my trouser color should match the color of the socks. If I'm wearing brown shoes, I need to wear brown belt. So there has to be tonality in terms of uh, maintaining your grooming. So make it a point that you're immaculate because 50% of our mind would be made if you're well groomed and your body language is good. And of course, make it a point that you know about your role and the description that you're applying for. You know, my life becomes very easy if you are aware of little bit. So please take the job description from your college coordinator or if you're applying online, please make it a point that, you know, you read the job description, which is given by the company, personalize your CV a little bit to it. This will help you to untap the uh, job market very well. Okay. So these are the five prerequisites uh, over here. Now, when you start with actual interview, my recommendation to all of you would be, it's been a pandemic time. It's been trying time for hotels. So you must just, you know, the interview will always say, hi, hi, Parna, how are you? Say very well. Don't say very well. Just maybe say, I hope you're fine, ma'am. It's been trying times. I hope you and family are safe in this pandemic. Make an icebreaker. Put a contribution. Make a conversation. This is going to help. These are the little colors that, you know, nobody will tell you, but it really sprinkles and gives you a bit. Why? You're appearing for hotels. You're appearing for hospitality industry. I am looking for someone who's, I want a candidate who's desirous of all these personality traits. If you are doing this with me, you will definitely do this with my customers and my guests. That's the reason it's very important for you to be at their best behavior because interviews think that, you know, if you are doing this to me, you're going to do this the same way, act similar way in, in front of my guests and my clients, right? That's how you're going to handle. So make it a point that you at least just say, how are you and all that. Okay. Are you all with me? Am I, am I talking to walls? Uh, belong that nobody is. Yes, please write WM on the chat box. If you're with me. Fantastic. Thank you. Now this is one of the, the, sec, the third last uh, slide of this uh, part, which is about the commonly asked questions in 2020, 2021, actually. So let's go to the first question. I actually have a set of 21 questions, but of course, as I said, with the paucity of time, I cannot cover all. So I've, I thought, let me cover the five questions and I'll give 
give you the answers of these as well. So please start noting this down. First question is introduction. Okay, tell me about yourself. Introduction is always the first round or the first question. And this is always an elimination round. Why is this an elimination round? Because this will help me to tell you whether I should take you to the next round or next interview or not. Why? Because if you cannot talk about yourself in English for 60 seconds, for a person that you are aware of 20 years, how are you going to make a conversation with my guest? So introduction is very important. I check two things with this, your family background and your communication skills. These are very two important things that I check. So girls, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, make it a point that you cover and clear this. In your introduction, you know, in, in, the, in the coaching session that I gave, I actually give you a package of what is a perfect introduction and that goes extremely well. So make it a point that you cover all the basics point in your introduction, which talks about you. It is an introduction about you, not your father, not your mother, not your brother it's about yourself so make it a point you cover into it and speak good english because we check communication skills onto it number two is uh where do you see yourself five years from now now i i want to ask you a question and you can put this on the chat box if you have to go and buy an ac from the market okay what are the few things you're going to check are you going to go into a wall a, a shop and say yeah, AC de do. he says yeah this one is good you say yeah yeah you give the money and come back do you do that no what are few things that you you check what is that few features that you'll check. Can anyone say brand? Okay, Sakshi, that is good. Brand is very important. Uh, Herleen, I she already gave me the answer. Warranty. I am looking for warranty. Even Shania says lasting. I want someone lasting, right? Features are correct. Price is right, absolutely. But I like what Shania has Herleen has written. Warranty and lasting. This is exactly what the interviewer is looking for. I am looking for stability in your answer. So if you're saying I'm 10 years or five years down the line, I think I'll be doing MBA or, you know, after two, three years, I'm planning to do MBA. I will never select you. Q. Because why should I waste my time, money and energy on this person? Train him because two years ke baad she will go. I rather have these 200 students who are more committed to me and say, ma'am, I'll be there. So the ideal answer for this question should be, I see myself growing with the company. I see myself being growing with the company in one of the supervisors or the assistant manager's role and helping you to lead in any of the part or hotels of your organization. Now I'm going to do because you're hitting my bottom line. You're talking about me. This question is about me. A selfish question is to check that candidate ka role kya hai. What is his ambition? What is his contribution? And is it going to be stable? Mostly in OCLD, you know, they ask this question uh, that, you know, uh, uh, how many years you will be with us. So it's it's very important. Obviously, it's not that in interview mein koi bolega 20 years and you know we'll hold them responsible, but at least we look at the intention. So make it a point that lasting, what Harleen and Shania said, lasting and warranty. Warranty hai. Jo zyada deta hai, wo obviously you'll be more than happy to uh, take that product, correct? You know, uski warranty zyada hai, you know, uski guarantee zyada hai, uske review or feedback achha hai, to musi ko uthaoge, right? Gaadi kaise le to, jo mileage zyada deti hai, gaadi usi ko pick up karte hai na mood. So it's all about, you know, commitment in the future so stability is what we are looking for okay number three and four i'm going to combine these two questions why should i hire you or why do you need this job now gone are the days ladies and gentlemen you say i'm hard working i'm very committed i'm very good in english i'm very good in uh, um, you know managing a uh, guest anda milega anda I am looking for your skill sets. And that's why I say you drive your interview because you're going to tell the interviewer what are you good at. The moment you say, ma'am, I'm good at making beverages. I'm great in Indian cuisine. I make very good gravies. I've handled life counter counters on my own during my industrial training, for example. Okay. Or you talk about that I'm a hardworking achiever or I've managed to handle complaints of all the guests during the breakfast time. I managed uh, the fight, uh, the say 70 cover restaurant as a breakfast hostess these are your skills you're talking about your skills which is called networking communication skills in handling the role very well okay if you say i'm hard working so you need to make sure you may put your skill set you know you all said about ac i want to look the brand i want to look the warranty i want to link the features why are you seeing this you will never buy an ac which says ma'am it's a beautiful ac will give you cold air you'll be like AC is supposed to give a cold air, right? It is uh, supposed to be beautiful. But tell me, will, will it save my electricity bill? 
will it uh, come in different colors will it be able to get fitted uh, 1.5 will make my entire room um, uh, uh, you know cool which is which is a small uh, say 200 square feet ka ek room hai mera usme ho jayega you are looking for features you are looking for brands this is what interview is looking for i am not looking for hard work you have to be hard working yaar you have to be committed you have to obviously be punctual to ye sab cheeze to sab karte hain the donkey bhi karta hai you are not a donkey you are a hotel management hospitality student i want you to tell me your skill set and the moment you tell me ma'am i am a food and beverage person i love making cocktails i have amazing knowledge about the spirits now you have diverted my mind from the entire beverage to only spirits so as an interviewer i'm only going to ask you about spirits and i start talking see how am i you are driving your interview you focusing your interview from this big platform to smaller one ask me this ask me this so make it a point that you mention your skill set and of course last question is do you have any question please have questions don't just please don't ask this question ma'am will i get through never ask this question ma'am give my feedback they will say bhai hr mein bata denge aapko log bahar hai you should ask questions which are like you know which which shows that you have studied about the company so talk about the fact ma'am i've heard the obroy hotel is coming up in london how what are the timelines of it coming in or for example i've i've always read through your company website the culture is very good i wanted to check for the newly joined is it possible for them to get uh, you know if i wish to get uh, exposed in another department what are the chances of cross exposure ask questions which are relevant which shows growth which shows you studied enough don't ask dumb questions will i get through ma'am please make me through what is my feedback will i be good bad ugly what is the salary don't ask these questions okay because this is going to be any which ways uh, answered to you in few minutes when they announce the results okay are you all with me please write wm on the chat box if you are okay and of course with this pandemic obviously they will ask you about corona virus how productive were you or how have you handled the stress be ready for such questions as well okay online interviews are very important this is a separate webinar that i take if you're interested please do follow our uh, instagram uh, handles enroll into these workshops very happy to take you through them as well okay so all it requires guys is just be on time making energy because all this requires zero talent can you type zero talent on the chat box if you are with me you understand that all what is required is zero talent can you write zero talent you don't have to go to gym you don't have to wake up early morning to exercise you don't have to go for a run all you have to do is making an effort this is your own thing remember you have to beat your resistance because assistance will follow the minute you get resistance very very important guys so before i end i have something to tell you and if you could please allow me to present what we do to other students uh, i wanted to check if you are getting energy i hope you're getting energized with me okay so guys you know we have we all live two lives a life which we live in a dream okay which is like a palatial life and the actual life that we live in right and right now what is important for all of you as professionals is to make it a point that you live your dream and for living your dream is to get your job or a dream job okay so what is going to happen right now is okay very important for you to get into your dream job it's very important for you to understand this point that it is not going to come by just thinking it's going to come with action or involvement right so what is going to happen after this webinar today i'm going to give you two parts one path is you are happy go lucky you exit you go home talk are bahut acha webinar tha i noted this i noted this blah blah you give a good feedback and you exit okay and let's face it after 24 hours you start thinking are aparna ne kya bataya tha what was the uh, d3 formula acha let me go through a youtube or what did sir talk about you know that that country ki us mein kaise ja sakte hain ya fir uae ka kya tha you think you make few calls and you remember and there after 48 hours is all going to be zoom 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 right because you've actually you know everything becomes a khichdi because you have so many more things that has happened and you start getting confused what is it so that's a path one that you can take you feel happy about it there's a reaction that you get and then you're happy and you know exit but there is another path i can offer you is that you continue from here okay continuity is very very important right and that's what we have and you know we we during this uh, lockdown i think we must have done some 50 plus webinars for the students very happy to inform you as i was telling you during the uh, webinar as well there's so many students we've trained we've coached you can go through our instagram channels uh, uh, handle see what students have written go to the linkedin where students have posted about what are the gain that has happened and we give them actually a successometer we actually help creating professional 
especially knowing in the dire team and the trying times that we have. Okay, and um, very important. We've had such good feedback coming from the students because you know, with Sir and myself having experience from staunch hotel background, we understand what is that is required. And you're more than happy to get in touch with us if you wish to enroll into us, if you wish to get trained by us, if you wish to get that extra time and energy so that you increase whatever I've trained you right now. Just a trailer, guys. There's a full movie which is required. There's so many things that is required onto that. Okay, we do a lot of webinars, which is like you know, enlightening Saturdays. We cover uh, webinars for hotels for various departments. Uh, you know, we've done sessions on creative resume writing, video resume, which is a new in thing. I'm sure if you actually go into a lot of, if you're actually doing this good research, then you will see a lot of employers. Sixty percent of employers started asking, please give your video resume. So we've done a very elaborate webinar on that. We did a session on public speaking. So there've been multiple webinars that we've been doing, and I'm so happy to see that. There have been students who've been living their dreams with us. Okay, so that is something which is important. So, guys, I have a session. You know, we have um, a session that is coming up, which is a special crafted seven session program. Okay, uh, it has a session one, which is of grooming. Okay, session two comes with body language and etiquettes. Session three is with communication skills. Session four is with public speaking. Session five is actually a brownie session, which is a group discussion, and we give you two mock group discussion with the personalized feedback. Session six is a mock interview. We do a mock interview. We give you a personalized report that this is what you're lacking at, and this is what you need to do. And that's a fantastic thing that goes on. And seven session is where we give you counseling for the overseas um, uh, education on this as well. Okay, which is obviously by uh, you know by EFI Edu Forum. We we collaborated with them, and in case you wish to enroll into this that's why i said please register through that link of uh, google id i will be giving you details by the end of the day today it's a webinar special price that we have usually we we run this but we run this for 3499 only as a special price okay plus just to let you know we have another uh, workshop which is coming up and it's a must attend it's only for 299 rupees because i need to buy accountability for all of you this is going to be a webinar specially which i will be conducting along with mr kanitkar talking about the fact that what is that and how do you untap that job market you know there is this iceberg the tip is only seen but there's so much of potential so what are the job mistakes you are looking for because these days wherever you apply everywhere you apply online no where you're going to apply in fact i would encourage even the college coordinators to come and attend it how do you actually get an insight to make sure that how do you do your job search on this correctly okay so what we cover four points is the job search mistake that we all are making insider of the recruiter cycle what is that we must hit first beating the application tracking system let's let me tell you when you upload your cv there is no human being checking it there is a computer which is called ats application tracking system how can i beat that ats to get into my resume to call for an interview and cre creating the resume so these are four things we are covering in this and uh, it's at a very special rate you can register now enroll now i'm going to put the insta mojo link on the uh, chat box right now just go to the payment mode pay and your seat is there it's happening on 26 february the moment you do that within about two days you're going to be getting the link of the zoom id and we'll be more than happy to help you really really helps okay so girls i just wanted to check ladies and gentlemen girls and boys you got energy with this session can you put in uh energy on that uh, chat box if you think you've got energetic yes you've got some value you've got something onto it if you have please write energy thank you sakshi first one ridula harlina imagine if you're getting energy with me in this last one one and a half hours imagine the kind of energy i'm going to put you do with this that stretch of seven days that i'm going to train you with all right so i truly look forward to see a lot of you okay uh commitment from our side is we you know you will obviously have an access with us counseling with us guidance with us do do a little search these are our numbers call us up disturb us we'll be more than happy to explain you follow our instagram channels rajan.kanitkar aparna.pasi so you get updates and of course subscribe to the youtube channel as well myself is aparna pasi mr kanitkar is rajan kanitkar i will be putting in few more uh, videos very soon so please subscribe to that so that you are aware and you do not miss any any learning all right and i'm going to be pasting the link of the insta mojo of the 
tap the untap uh, uh, part where we'll be obviously talking about how should your job search be especially in today's time when hotels are not coming on the campus but are going digitally wide okay so i look forward to see all of you and all the best i hope you have taken a note of our numbers and over to you sir thank you thank you so much Hello. Harleet, you can take over from here. Thank you, ma'am. It was so high on energy. <laughs> and uh, she, sir. Would you like to speak anything? So you are on mute. Uh, we can have Sharanya coming in. Sharanya, are you there? Uh, Sharanya. I think Sharon has come in. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Actually, uh, this was a actually very wonderful session, ma'am, sir. Like um, all the points actually you gave about uh, you know those questions like which actually really stump us at the interviews. Like where do you see yourself in the last five years? And we are like. Uh, It is just uh, blurting out some answers just to make sure, yeah, we still have it in our hand. But I think you really cleared it for us that uh, how to, you know, go about that question, those questions, those sort of questions. So yeah, without uh, you know wasting uh, much time, so without much further ado, I would like to express a deep gratitude uh, to uh, Mr. Rajan Kanitkar and. Miss Aparna Pasi for the busy like for taking out time from your busiest schedule and uh, giving us such wonderful insights. I'm sure like this has helped a lot of us and it will benefit us in the future for the future interviews and the future opportunities that we have. I'd also like to express uh, a deep gratitude to our principal, vice principal. and all the faculty members for being the backbone basically and uh, conducting all of these uh, sessions and giving us such insightful webinars to look forward to and i would also like to thank all the attendees for uh, being tuned in and being so enthusiastic on the chat box <laughs> and just uh, i thank you all once again uh, and wish you all a great day ahead Thank you. Thank you, Shanaya. Shanaya. Yeah, she is Sharanya. Thank you, Sharanya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely smile, lah, Sharanya. Good, smile, good, yeah. good. Glad to see that. <laughs> Ajay Shirish sir, thank you very much for giving us the opportunity. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Khatu. Yeah, we are really delighted with the response of students, and Aparna also added a few more things. I mean, totally new to me also. Like uh, what happens at Marriott during Voyager? That was not known to me, ah, Aparna ji. Good. Ah, okay. <laughs> Even I am enlightened. Thank you. That's so yeah. kind of you, sir. <laughs> okay, then comment. any question, yeah, anything? Yeah. Because she has already said a lot of thanks. <laughs> If you have any question, you can mail to us. Our, uh, I mean. Uh, IDs and contact numbers are already displayed. If anyone has any question, uh, we do not mind answering over the email also. Hundred percent. Every day we get uh, so many emails uh, querying about this and that. And if we get overseas opportunities with us, we will certainly write to you, uh, Mr. Shirish. Hello. 
I hope all of you have enrolled in that uh, the registration uh, link so that I can send you details of the program. More than happy if you all be there. And uh, Mr. Bodke, more than happy to have you uh, there for the program as well. There's a lot sure. really to learn into the untapped job market of digital world. It'll be good for you to guide your students also in the digital world. I have learned also it. organizing one, uh, you know, meeting with... Uh... Uh, a person from uh, New Zealand's consulate on uh, opportunities in New Zealand. Not only educational, but even job opportunities, how to procure work permit, etc. The gentleman, uh, his name, surname is Pille, and he was once upon a time working with Leela Hotel, and now he works with the External Affairs Ministry of uh, Government of New Zealand. He is, uh, I mean, stationed at Wellington or Auckland, somewhere in New Zealand. So we are planning to get him next month so that, you know, he can guide students as well as their parents. Of course, this would be a paid program, but our fees are not huge, very small, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, actually, I have a question to ask. Uh, good yeah. afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Devyani. And mm. uh, sir, as you were telling us that uh, about the opportunities we have in abroad for the hospitality. Yes. Uh, so I want to ask, like uh, me and my class, few of my classmates are uh, doing IATA course, uh, which mm. is International Air Transport Association. So is there any uh, uh, course regarding tourism or uh, the uh, upcoming industry, like uh, the growing industry of tourism? What is the status of tourism over there? Achha, if you're asking me about course, uh, courses are available in UK. And uh, right now, time is not right to travel to UK. You know, very recently, it is reported that people who have traveled to Brazil or to South Africa or East Africa, with them, they have brought the COVID from these countries. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, let us observe a gap of one or two months. And uh, as regards your career in IIT, there are plenty of opportunities particularly even with a group like Accor, you know, which is a French group, they do offer job opportunities in uh, Southeast Asia or in countries like Kampuchea, Vietnam, etc. So there are opportunities available. But once uh, this epidemic is over, I'll be able to talk, I mean, uh, authoritatively on the topic. Let us, uh, I mean, uh, 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 currently, we are in the month of February. You can write to me in the month of April. Okay, sir, sir, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure, uh, sir. Without any hesitation. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for the info. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, anybody has? I think no more questions. I think with uh, Sirish, this, sir, right this now, session. you know, there are job opportunities available in countries like Cyprus or Malta, but I really do not know how to reach there because there are no flights going either from London or Paris to these countries. So as of today, because of suspension of air traffic, you know, those, uh, I mean, uh, opportunities are there, but we can't utilize. So that is the situation. I think hopefully today. the international... Uh, Travel will should start yeah. soon. Mm -hmm. Let then, I think, yeah, uh, yeah. Hope for the best. Yeah, hundred percent. All right, then I think if nobody has questions, we can uh, end this uh, session. Uh, thank you all once again for joining in, and uh, thanks, uh, Aparna ma'am and uh, Karitkar sir, for your time. Thank it was you. really, really Thank insightful and uh, even I, I, I was very impressed with the way the slides were made, you know, uh, very, very nice, you know. I knew Thank a lot of things, but I think you put it uh, very nicely. Yeah. And, uh, 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 but, but then I'm actually looking for uh, forward to uh, what is the change, you know, which is uh, yes. which must have happened probably because of the pandemic. Yes. And uh, how do you, how should students actually grab those uh, yeah. opportunities because now campus interviews may not happen. I used to happen, you know, in the past. So, so uh, that's what Mr. Bokre, you know, this webinar that we're doing on 26th covers a lot part of it because 
a lot of us have been grappling on the fact that how do we really hook on to a recruiter and get on to it because the moment a job is posted online you see in swish of 15 minutes you'll see 500 applicants and you know that's why it's become so digital it goes through an application tracking system so it's very important for students to understand that it's all about the game of keywords you know there are certain keywords which will be caught in that ats and only then you will be selected otherwise your uh, resume is churned out so that's right. how we'll be that's why i call it as untapped market because we really don't know that potential it's a very new concept in, even that video resume was a new concept so we'll be more than happy to have some of your students seeing that and you know uh, spreading that information so that is one major change that has happened to go online website and directly apply yeah yeah i'll uh, i'll definitely join this session sure and, uh, i hope some students also join it will be nice yeah all right i think it's uh, see it's almost 2 o'clock my god oh, yes. oh. everybody must be i'm sorry to take <laughs> a lot all, of i think it wow. almost be hungry now so uh, yes I have another session in the afternoon. They have the yeah. practical class demos. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, yes. Some theory also. So uh, good. All the best. Thank yeah. you all once again. Thank you. Have so a great much. day ahead. Bye. Perfect. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, students. Take care. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Do join us. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Miss Lakshmi. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, Lakshmi, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Bye. Bye. Bye.